is Jack Septicai and welcome to Irish Time with Jack. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of the time, who've been asking, is Jack really Irish or is it just put on for videos, for views, for subs, for likes, for comedy, and as if you couldn't tell by how pasty white my skin is, yes, I am Irish, 100% born and bred in this country, and I'm fucking proud of it, damn it! Even though I'm like the most non-Irish person ever. So, I got something that's gonna help us be as Irish as possible. I got a massive book full of feckin' Irish slang. That's great crack for any shower of savages. So we're gonna look through this, and we're gonna look up some Irish slang words, and we're gonna try and explain through them, and by the end of this video, we're all gonna be Irish. Um, so to get in the mood, we got a little something something. So first, you gotta get your beer. I am here drinking my favorite beer called alcohol. So to get in any Irish mood, you gotta drink. Oh, by Jesus, that's good. And secondly, after you get your alcohol, any good Irish person needs tea bags. So you, you sprinkle your tea bags and you pray to the tea gods that you will be as Irish as possible. Now, does everybody get their whiskey? Put your babies in your prams and give them their feckin' soothers and we're getting into this. Um, okay, the book has a fucking sleeve on the outside of it. I don't know why, I hate those. Probably to keep the rain off it, as any Irish thing would say. So, we're gonna just flick through and find a random thing. Um, right. <laughs> the first page I went to had Jack at the top of it. And it said, Dubliner, tradesmen in Dublin are so shite, they're called jacks of all trades. That's not Irish, they called them jacks of all trades everywhere. Here's a good one you hear from time to time. Gas. Not, not smelly gas that you think coming out of your arsehole or a pipe in the ceiling. Nothing like that. Gas is something that's funny. Asher Jesus, that's a gas lad over there, isn't it? Say, say it with me now. Gas. Gas lad. Oh, Jesus, you're a gas yoke. <laughs> <coughs> gas means amusing, funny, or hilarious. It was gas when Cormac broke his collarbone. That, that's funny. Someone breaking their collarbone. That's, that's Irish. <laughs> God, I haven't heard any of these words in so long. Oh, gee bag. Jess, you're an awful old gee bag, aren't you? Woman of unpleasant character is what you'd call a gee bag. My wife's a right gee bag. <laughs> so you're walking down the street with your with your fellow mates, and you're walking down after having a pint, and you're like, Jess, she's a right old gee bag, isn't she? <laughs> oh, God. Also, at the top of this page is gawk. Or to stare at something. If you're gonna- Don't be going gawking now! I see you gawking. Pointing is also bad, but gawking is worse. Of course, the base of learning any culture is to learn how to, like, introduce yourself to them. Because it's all about mannerisms, it's all about body language, it's all about going up. I know a lot of people think that we just go up, drink, and then punch each other in the face, and that's how Irish people say hello. But there's more to it. You have to go up, and you have to say, How are ya? Because that, that just means hello, or hi. It, in other languages it would be, how are you? But the Irish are so evolved and so evolutionarily smart that we just shorten it all down to, how are you? How's it going? Are you well? Jesus, story horse. Um, that's probably in there as well. That's, that's advanced. That's adva by the end we'll get to that. But first you say, how are you? Hello or hi? How are you, you big bollocks? That, uh, say it with you now. How are you, you big bollocks? Very good. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. After you say how are ya, there's two, there's a bunch of ways that you could go about that. You could go up and say, how she cutting? That just means, how is life, my good friend? How she cutting? You go, Jesus Peter, how are ya? How she cutting? Are you well? How's the, how's the missus? Ah, she just go away with that now, stop. Ah, I didn't bother now. See you later. That's, that's, that's Irish right there. How is life, my good friend? How she cutting, your honor? You wouldn't say that to your honor. Well, I guess if you're out in, if you're out in fucking Sean's bar, uh, at the weekend, and then you, you go around and you get in trouble, then you'd be like, oh, how is she cutting, your honor, because you'd you be in trouble. But also, coming off how she cutting, and how are you, then, well, sometimes you can just go up and say, well, well, the, the, just, just well, instead of how are you. But also, you say, how's the crack? That, that's a very Irish thing. Having the crack? How's the crack? Where's the crack? Cane scale? That, that's, again, advanced. But how's the crack just means, how are you or what's happening? And it's spelled crack, C-R-A-I-C. You see what I mean? Crack just means fun. I mean crack, crack is just having the laugh. Just getting out there and having the crack. You go out on the weekends and you have a few drinks, a few pints with your mates, and you have the crack. That's what it's all about. A bit of fucking coal, a bit of session, and then, God, I'm getting even more Irish as the fucking video goes on. Oh, Jess, that's my heat. I will in me arse. I will in me arse or I will in me bollocks or I will in me hole. That just means you absolutely refuse to do what you suggest. So if you're like, hey Jack, will you play more episodes of Happy Wheels? And I'll say, I will in me hole. 
that kind of thing. You know what I mean? You're just saying no, basically. But I will in me arse. I will in me hole. I will in me fucking bollocks. Now you've probably heard me say this a lot in this video already. You've probably heard me say it in other videos as well. But that's Jesus. Now we're saying Jesus, but we're saying it in the way that the Irish would say it. Because again, we are evolved. Um, we are descended from potatoes. So we are carved out of potatoes from the hillsides. So we have... We have a, a funny way of saying things. We drag out vowels all the time. So instead of just saying Jesus, we say Jesus. Ah, good Jesus. Jesus Christ Almighty. Lord above Jesus and his blessed saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Ah, Jesus, you puked in me pint. That's also a very common thing that you're going to hear in Ireland. Because these are the things, if you come... If you just want to hang around Ireland and you just want to see what the place is all like, you go over, you say, hello, Mr. Sheep, and you go over and you pet a cow, and then you come into fucking Sean Oggs, or you go into, uh, on the Come On In, and then you're just like, ah, Jesus. Ah, Jesus, give me a pint there now, Peter, will you? Good man yourself. What is it? 40 euro. Jesus, pints are gone up a lot. See what I mean? You just work it into your language like that, and it just comes out naturally. And then, if something goes wrong, you say, I'll kick the shite out of you. Not, not, I'll kick the shit out of you, friend. I will kick the shit out of you, compatriot. No, by Jesus, I'm gonna kick the shite out of you. You did something awful. You did something fucking horrid. I wanted to watch Coronation Street, but what did you do? No, you changed the channel over the fucking fair city. No, I'll kick the shite out of you. This one is near and dear to my heart. Because, as you, as you may or may not know, I'm right-handed when I write stuff, but I'm left-footed when I kick stuff. Whenever I go out and I kick a football, I, I'm left footed. I know a lot of people will be like, how the hell do you kick with your left foot? But it's not as uncommon as you think it is. But over here, we call them kit hogs. If you do anything with your left, it means you're a kit hog. Because I think that means left. I'm not sure. Again, world's worst Irishman. Um, but that's left handed or a clumsy person. Now we always get a bad rap. Because people think that left handed or left footed people call them kit hogs all the time. That we're, we're just a mess. Then when we do stuff, we're not doing it well. Well, you know what? I can kick a football. I can kick a fucking football better than you can, Shane. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, you remember that time? Oh, you fucking do. Now, if you want to sound really good when you're ordering a drink, a lot of people go in and when they're asking for stouts, they're always like, or, or Guinness. We'll use Guinness as an example. Oh, uh, I know it well. Oh, the best Irish drink there is. I don't really like Guinness. But when you go in and you order a Guinness, you don't go in and say, a pint of Guinness, my good man. No, because you wouldn't say it like that, because an Irishman wouldn't say that. A pint, pint of Guinness. I mean, sometimes you would. But you go in and you say, a pint of the black stuff. Oh, now that, that's how you know a proper Irishman. You walk in, sure, your skin might not be as white as the fucking full moon like mine is, or as white, white as a pint of milk. But if you go in and you say, hey, give us a pint of the black stuff. And if you say, stuff, Instead of stuff, then you're definitely Irish. Oh, sure, you're from out from the west of Ireland then. If you go in and ask for a pint of the black stuff. And then they'll be like, Jesus, I, I thought you were like from, I thought you were from South America. But no, he said that like a true Irishman. Glory! You know how some people say you're the bee's knees? You be walking around and you do something really cool, like you throw a frisbee through a gap in the fence. And then everyone's like, Jess, he's the bee's knees. Yeah, but over here in Ireland, we'd say you're the dog's bollocks. That, that's a better one, isn't it? The bee's knee sounds cool, but everyone's like, why, why would being a bee's knees be cool? Being the dog's bollocks would be fucking cool. That's what's really cool. You walk in and you like kick off your shoes at the end of the day and they fly over and they land on the press in a perfect position. You're like, Jess, I'm the dog's bollocks, aren't I? Here it says, the dog's bollocks. First rate, perfect, genuine. That gobshite with the Rottweiler thinks he's the dog's bollocks. Now I know, I, I'm trying to amalgamate words here. Gobshite was in there as well. A gobshite is just a feckin' idiot or an idiot. Something like that. If you're a gobshite, then you're not a smart man. You're, you're, which is, you're a cute whore. Oh, look at that. Oh, you cute little cunt, ya. Yeah, oh, you're a gobshite altogether. See, over here, we use insults as a term of endearment. A lot of people out there, they say terrible words and it, it cuts, it cuts deep. Some, some cultures don't like words like that. You, you go out and you say certain things and people get very, very upset. But over here in Ireland, it's like, oh, you cute little whore, you. Oh, look at that little bollocks over there. Oh, you cute little cunt, you. Oh, see, it, it works better. And then we don't get in trouble for it because we're cute. There's reason, there's a, realizing that there's a lot of uh, slang based around either insults or drinking. Um, so this is definitely an Irish book. We're going to end on a hard one because this is one that we misinterpreted a lot. And that's the word nippy. Now, if you were to think, what would you think nippy means? 
Yeah, see, you're probably thinking that nippy just means it's cold. And that, that's it, that's right. There's a nip in the air. It's fierce nippy out. You're uh, rubbing your nipples because it's fierce nippy. And that is what it would be. Nippy, cold. Her arse must, must be a bit nippy wearing that skirt. And it probably is. Because she's out at the disco and she's out on a fucking Friday night and she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. But you know what? Sometimes practicality has to kick in. Ireland's not a nice place. It's very cold all the time, especially at night time when you come out of the pub at four o'clock in the morning. But no, it's going to be fierce nippy, so you don't wear a skirt too short. But also, nippy also means agile and fast. So if something is fierce nippy, me little Honda 50, she's rapid and she's nifty. You nip across the place. Something that's real nippy is fast. Nippy, fast, agile. Her arse must be a bit nippy wearing that skirt. Just gives the same explanation for both. And that does it for this video. This is a very handy book. This should be called the Irish Survival Guide because if you're going to come over here and you want to go with your friends and drink pints out in Malula's at the weekend or you come over for a tour and visit, you're going to have to know some of these words. Otherwise you go out and you drink a pint of the black stuff and you're going to get a box in the face by the end of the night. That's just the way it's going to go. But hopefully you learned something here today and hopefully you can incorporate some of our beautiful slang into your regular daily dialect. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I play all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Let's go! We put the thing in here, and we shake it all about. We shake! Oh. <laughs> that is awesome! Oh, 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 that looks awesome! He looks like a little... He looks like an emoji, actually. Jesus Christ. I feel like we learned something here today. We were all Egypts at the start of the day, but now we're going home smarter than before.